Hi everyone, this is Barbara Beckman, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a little bit differently of, of what I've been sharing with you lately. These are my hand-painted custom pet portrait ornaments that I paint from photographs that I receive as a reference. So a lot of people ask me what I do uh, for a living, and I am a professional artist, and I'm a commissioned artist, so I get a lot of commission work. So at the Christmas time, uh, Christmas season, I'm pretty swamped with a lot of custom orders. So I wanted to show you these. These are part of my business that are great fun. These are ornaments that I sand down and prime and I hand paint. So what happens is, is my clients send me a picture of their fur baby, their animal, and in turn I make these really um, like custom hand painted ornaments for them. A lot of these are given out as gifts and I actually hear from people from all over the country that have received them. And the feedback's always been super great and, and it, it's just something that makes me happy and that's why I continue to do them. I started them several years ago um, just for friends as gifts and stuff and then uh, their friends saw them and that's really how it took off. It's it's I realized how um, demanding that they were and people wanted them and I just couldn't keep up with them. Um, so locally I've been doing them forever and then I realized I could probably advertise and get a little bit more business if I started earlier. So I do these all year and they're not just put on ornaments, they're on plaques, they're on tins, they're on fabric. I can paint them on anything. Um, the clients reach out to me and I paint pet portraits on or on um, canvases, on paper, but I just want to show you these because these are so, so cute and they're so much fun for me to do. I love animals, but I, I mostly love the feedback because, like I said, people keep these out all year and they treasure them. And a lot of times it's um, a special gift that they just, it's an unexpected gift that they've received from a loved one. And it turns out to be their favorite gift. I hear that all the time. And like I said, people just reach out to me. So this week I received a beautiful card with a golden retriever on it from somebody down in Levittown, New York. I believe that's in Long Island. And she had to show me her pictures. And she doesn't have emails. She's an older woman. And she doesn't know how to do the internet thing. So it was a handwritten, beautiful note that I received. And it's something that I would definitely treasure and have in my art studio just to inspire me and to keep me motivated and to remember um, you know, how much joy these bring to people. She received this from a neighbor and the neighbor um, contacted me and said this woman reminded her of her grandmother who had passed away and that she loves golden retrievers and she had just gotten one that was a rescue. And I guess the dog was about one or two years old. So she had only had it um, a few months and it was their first Christmas together. And I thought, wow, what a sweet story. What a wonderful neighbor. And I can see why she wanted to do this for her because her, her letter was so heartfelt and so touching that, um, yeah, on those nights that I'm sitting in my studio and I'm exhausted painting these, I, it just, it's going to inspire me to really um, get them done and get them worked on with my whole heart and soul in them. Anything I do, I really try. I hope it reflects in my artwork here. I, I don't rush anything. I paint them as if I was painting them for myself. Um, I really have a great respect and, and I treasure my artwork. Um, and I treasure the gifts that I've been given and the ability that I have. And I, I want to just explain that a, a little bit more. Um, I knew early on I could paint. I knew early on I could sketch and draw. What I did not know is that it would like save my life because it helps me, um, it keeps me grounded and it gives me a sense of peace and it's provided me with income and it has given me everything I need to succeed in the world and to be a good person and to be a good friend and a mom and a, and a wife. And I can't describe that any other way. It's just that I'm able to do what I love every single day and going into my art studio, which is in my house, um, you know, in my pajamas on a cold day after my kids have sent out to school, have my hot tea in hand and I get to paint and I get to paint things that make people happy. And, um, I really, I'm so grateful and blessed and, and thankful. I've been given so many graces from, um, my art, my art and, the ability that I have to create something. So I do share videos of like my ex, my, the times when I explore and play in my art journals or with my paper piecings and other things that I do. 
I d dabble in everything. I've been an artist my entire life. Um, I sew, I can quilt, I can cross stitch. I, I just love it. It's just, it brings me a sense of peace and it just makes me feel good to create. So I really like to share things with you. So a lot of people, like I said, have been asking me, what have you been up to? What do you do? How come there's, you know, weeks off and stuff? And I always mention in my videos that I'm a custom, custom commissioned artist. So this is just a very small part of what I do. Um, I think I should post some of my houses. They're a little bit, they take, um, couple days to, to do these take me not not so long because um they're small and they're I'm quick at them just because I've been doing them for so many years now that you know they come relatively easy for me so these are available all year in my Etsy store and I advertise through Facebook I, I advertise through Instagram um, I don't you know do it every day once in a while I'll just throw something out there in the wind and see what happens so throwing things out there in the wind like that I always hear from people um, but mostly Christmas like Christmas time because that's an ornament people have you know Christmas gifts on their minds and these are definitely a gift that is um, heartfelt and different unique and unexpected and they are so super popular I really wish people would order them like I said in July or earlier so I wouldn't be so bombarded because as I'm painting these, I also have to keep up with house commissions. And for this this year, for some reason, I had so many um, realtors ordering house commission or uh, house portraits from me for their closing gifts. I was shocked how many houses closed in December. I I just got hit a lot harder than any other year this year. But um, yeah, certain times of the year, houses sell more than others, especially here in New York. I don't know about across the country if that's if that's the same. Um, but this December, I really feel like I have not left my art studio and I wanted to play so bad. That's why in the last couple of days I've been paper piecing and getting everything out of me that's been wanting to get done and create and what's been on my mind um, because I've been locked away doing these these ornaments and stuff. So look for my house portraits. They're going to be coming up. I'd love to share you know what I do besides um, my fun playing kind of stuff. Um, these are great. So if you, if you would like one, please order one, contact me. Um, I'm not soliciting anybody here. I really am not. I just want to share with you what I do. I just, I hope you can tell by my artwork and by my voice and how passionate I am about art. And I hope that everybody gives it a try, even if they feel like they can't, they can't paint. It's just, I believe everybody can. Um, I also teach in the New York area paint and sip classes. Um, you know they're popular now. And I don't work for anybody else. I don't work for a franchise. I create my own paintings. And I go actually into houses and I do fundraises too in corporations, team buildings. Um, I do a lot of things. I'm pretty known as far as the um, paintings and the step-by-step -step around my community. So I really don't even advertise anymore for that. It's all word of mouth and I'm super busy all the time. I do large fundraisers on the weekends. There's a video on here actually, my YouTube channel. I did, um, I think there was a hundred and, I want to say 178. Can't really remember, but it was really large. I almost passed out when I looked in there because I was walking around getting nervous and I'd never been up in front of a crowd that large before. Um, you know, I had a microphone and I still couldn't hear me because there were a bunch of, uh, mostly women came to that and it was for a fundraiser for, um, it was in a Catholic high school, but I looked inside and I thought I'm going to drop dead right now because I just like to create. I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I'm really good at getting up there in front of everybody, but, um, I had a great time and I've been back several years now and all the nerves are now out of me for that, but I've been teaching paint and sip sip classes for many years on my own like I said so I just like to bring painting to people and I have seen people say I can't do this I can't do this and at the end if they just um the little encouragement and a little uh step by step and teaching it's amazing what people can do so I really hope you can you can hear that in my voice and I'm just passionate and I love it so here I want to show you some more of these I'll talk about them a little bit um I I love them and sometimes people send me 
like this one coming up in this next frame. This is a dog. He's really old and it was for her son and he's sick and he, and they don't know how much longer he's going to be and his face is all twisted. And she, she told me he, they cried. They cried when they got it. Not they cried of happiness. They cried because they have this treasured memory of him. Um, this one here was the unexpected one. This is a bearded dragon that somebody had me do. And I was like, wow. Now this, this was like a, a cool family. They have lizards. So here's another one that belongs to their family. Um, so I do a lot of different things. They're not just dogs and cats. They're just, um, I've done, I did a stingray this year. I thought was really, really cool. And um, this one here, uh, there's a lot of these. They are um, cocker spaniels. And they were for a woman I want to say she was part of a rescue group. I can't really remember. She ordered 19 ornaments this year. So you'll see some of these are grouped together that are hers. Um, they they come in all shapes, shapes and sizes, all different types of dogs, all different cats. Um, no two ornaments are the same. They're all very unique to an individual. And people have me add different things to them. Um, you know, they personalize it to make them their own. Or if I have a good picture and I'm able to put like a collar around the dog's neck. I'll put like a heart collar that wasn't there in the photo and I'll put their name in it and I'm able to do little things like that which is really great. So the backs of these are also painted and they're not painted with a picture but I put their names on it or I'll do some whimsical writing. Um, I'll put the year or if they've passed I'll put the year that they were born and the year they passed whatever the, the client provides to me. So I love them. They're super fun. I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, I didn't want to make it too long, so I didn't really grab all the ornaments that I did. But as you can see, I was very busy. It kept me very busy. But what, what I love too about these is if you really take a look at them, they all have, I, ca I try to capture their personality as best I can. Like this one, look at those big blue eyes in this picture. He was beautiful. So um, I try to just focus in on something that really, really will capture that animal. And I, I work really hard at that. So I hope that's coming through in the pictures here. So I did post a lot. I probably should have only posted, you know, a few of these. But I was so excited this year. I had a lot of orders. And when I look back at them, I remember each and every picture. And um, sometimes I can re even remember the name of who sent it in to me just because I had so much correspondence with them going back and forth because I want to make them perfect. I don't rush these. I take my time. I, I either uh, text the people or email a lot. Um, on occasion, I'll talk to somebody, but usually it's just done through texting and um, communication like that through email. So this person here had some ferrets. I never had painted a ferret on an ornament before, but I like that, that it was just such, such a little different thing. And uh, it's hung on their tree. I think it's so cool. And then, like I said, they didn't even um, pack it away. They, they kept it out. So I love to hear the stories that go behind these animals. And, um, yeah, they're, they're super fun. So, really, if you'd like one or if you know somebody who would love one, please send them over to my Etsy store. I will link it in there just because it's easier to find me that way. So I'll put an, um, a link to it in the description area. So we're almost here at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it so much. And comments. Leave me comments to let me know what you think and let, let me, um, you know, get to know you guys. And if you do some artwork you think I'm going to like, I'm on Instagram. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Barbara Beckman Art or Barbara Beckman and reach out to me. You can email me. I have all my information pretty much all over. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to see what other people are doing or, you know, if you could teach me something, hey, I, I think we're here for each other and that's what it's about is sharing and getting to know each other through art is a great way um, to learn and to become friends and to share. So reach out to me, leave me messages. So again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your, um, you know, your dedication to coming back to watch my videos and I hope to see you again soon. I'll try to post the houses soon too. Thank you so much everyone. Have a wonderful day and I will be back soon with other artistic adventures. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.